Chat GPT-5 is here. I think we've all been waiting for this. What can the magical, super powerful AI do with its next generation? Now, of course, as a lot of you know, I make video games. So let's see if Chat GPT-5 can put me out of a job. All right, so I just punched in a prompt. Make me a game that fits a single runnable HTML file that is an RPG similar to the likes of Hypixel Skyblock with skills, collections, etc., and have it themed around subterranean civilization. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Hypixel Skyblock. It's a giant MMO RPG on Minecraft. I love that game. Anyways, besides the point, I want to see if this ChatGPT version can make that kind of complexity for a game. Obviously, I'm not expecting multiplayer, but some sort of single player RPG would be sick if it can pull it off. It's been coding for a while now. It's up to 415 lines of code and let's see what it does. Okay. Okay. So what do we got going on here? We have depth, coins, energy, pickaxe, a mining level. Oh, we have tabs. That's nuts. So I have skills collections. So I have stone, iron, mushroom, crystal fish, lumi caps and coal. I have crafting where I can smell iron ball, iron bars. I need five iron, three coal gives me an iron bar. Four iron bars, five coal gives me a tier two pickaxe. And then I can make torches. I got quests. First descent reach 50 meters depth. And then I got an inventory down here. And then I've got saving options. Controls, WASD to move around. Space to mine slash harvest. F to fish on pools. I for inventory. Click to sell items. Okay, for skills tab. Okay, so my depth seven meters. Okay, so this is how I go down. So can I just walk to reach my 50 meter depth? I mean, I, I did my quest. I got some coins. All right, let's see what how mining works. Okay, every time I click space, it reduces my energy, but it mines the the resource. And it looks like, yeah, we're leveling up our mining and we're getting stone. So it looks like these like clear ones are stone. I wonder what these are. Okay, so these are iron. Those are coal. Oh, we've leveled up to mining three. See, I don't quite know what... I don't think the skills do much yet. So, what do we need to craft to make... Let's make some iron. We need five... What do we have? Two iron? Let's go around and get as much iron as we can then. Okay, so now we have five iron, three coal gives us an iron bar. So, now that we have that, we can do craft. Which, now we have a, a bar of iron. Okay. Whoa, what's going on? It's bugging out. So it looks like the map is just infinite in every direction. Oh, it's not. Okay, so the map ends at some point. I can fish? Pay for skills tab. It's kind of bugged out. I'm like running into the- Oh, there we go. So I can fish? Oh, there we go. What did I get? Crystal fish. I don't even think that's used in any crafting. So I can just sit here and spam spam F. Oh, what's going on there? Okay, let's get, let's get back on track. Let's work on- I want to make this tier two pickaxe. We need more iron for that, which is this stuff. Oh, this is coal. We need more iron. I think these textures are really cool. How chat kind of decided like what each type of material should look like and how it did it all with HTML. Okay, so now we have, it keeps like stretching the screen. I don't know what that's all about, but we're missing, we have enough of everything. It's still saying we're missing something. That's weird. So that's bugged. Okay. So now I want to see if can you add some sort of durability system for ores and mining speed or mining thumb system to make better tools do more damage. Can you also add collection level rewards to unlock the rest? Recipes for new items. Can you add icons for the materials with Sprite from the internet? All right, let's see what it does then. Here, let's save our progress. Let's see what it cooks up. This is like the first little update for it. So we can mine ores, we can craft stuff. There's collection stats, there's skill stats, but none of them really mean anything. Let's let it code and see what it does, what it kicks out. Yeah, it looks like so far it's added a tier three pickaxe in the code. All right, let's see what it's cooked. Uh, a bug. Here we go. Chat has reached its first bug. 
Let's see what it can figure out. It looks like it only added like 80 lines of code or like 70 lines of code. So let's see if it can um, fix up this bug. Because this was one of the main problems of the old chat GPTs. They would just make bugs and you could ask them to try to fix it and they would just never be able to fix the bug. You would just go back and forth with them forever. But uh, allegedly this is a lot better. So we're going to see. Alright, let's see if it fixed its bug. Alright, alright. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so it saved all my stuff, which is great. Let's see here. Uh, it's not loading the images. That's rough. Well, anyways, let's see if it added the, um, the collection stuff. Oh, it added the health bars, it looks like. Okay, okay. That's good. So it's one, two, three, four. So it's four for stone. It's eight for iron. Six for coal. Three for mushrooms. And it looks like we are gaining collection. And we have some levels now. And it looks like... Yeah, so tier two pickaxe is now locked behind iron level two. But there's not really a good way to see my progression. Alright, it completely rewrote it, and it looks like it's still only like 527 lines of code, so I don't see how that could add much. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything different. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Wiping's not working. None of these icons updated. I wonder if messing around in like two separate chats, it doesn't look like it. I wonder if that was messing with it. I don't really know how chat works. I don't know if it like only lets you use one chat at a time. Alright, we'll let it fix the bug. All right, 528 lines of code, let's see what it does. Okay, okay, we can move, we can move. What the hell's all this stuff though? Okay, so our skills have an icon now, that's cool. Still mining all that. I'm guessing this is like a log. Oh, here we go. Look at that, we have little icons for all of them. We have the iron bar, coal, mushroom, stone, crystal fish. It just looks like it's getting cut off on the right though, which is a little annoying. Um, okay, better. Now for the crafting recipes, we actually have item icons in them. And it looks like we don't have any quests there. I want to see what these are though. How do I interact? Oh, here we go. You click E. Oh, it's a trader. Okay. So I can buy a torch. Okay, how about you? you can craft the pickaxe from this? Okay, interesting. Bring me six iron and I shall award you money. Okay. So let's go find some iron. This is the coal. We need to get the iron. Oh yeah, that's slow. That's really slow. What if we just don't do his quest? So yeah, it looks like it's active here. Iron, we're level 1. Okay, so they have progress bars now. So now if I get more iron, it will level this up. That's nice. I really like this like gradient color there. That's really cool. Alright, let's just get a done of coal. Okay, so now we're iron level 2. Let's see if we can make that pickaxe. It looks like we can. Okay. Okay, so now we made it. Now how many hits is it? Is it significantly faster? Oh, it's way faster. All right, that's sick. How about tier three? What does that take? It takes fish. Okay, so we need 10 iron bars and fish. So I guess just keep grinding for the coal and iron. Oh, it looks like it's subtracting durability from my tool as well. I don't even know where I'm supposed to see that. We're also getting mining levels, which I don't even know if that gives you anything. It's not really a good way to tell. Maybe, no, I'm not noticing any difference. Let's make some, some iron bars. Okay, so now we have seven iron bars. We need a lot more iron and still more coal. It is strange that it like stretches out the resolution when I click F. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, maybe it's because this is getting filled and that's what's stretching out the screen. Now it looks all goofy. All right, let's quickly finish this up. And then we're missing... We have the iron bars, and we have the fish, and it says we're missing it, but I know we're not. Forge. Alright, we got two or three pickaxes, let's see how fast this thing is. Oh, two shots stone, three shots coal, four shots iron. I think that's the same as it was before, but anyways. <laughs> so there you have it. ChatGPT can make a video game. I'm sure I could have gone more in depth with this thing, I didn't have to make it this simple. I probably could have sat here for, you know, all day and just cranked out updates for this thing to make it really cool. But you know, I got my own projects to get to. So if you guys do want to try this out, I mean, you can do it right now. You just hop on chat TPT and you say, Hey, make me a game. Just make sure you specify you want it in one HTML file. So then when you open it up, you can click run code in the top right here and it'll run it into a, like an actual program. And you guys honestly just go nuts with it. 
<laughs> and this was a pretty funny experiment to see what chat can do. I think I'm going to do more stuff like this in the future just because it's funny. I'm going to see what kind of goofy stuff that chat can make and what kind of crazy games or programs that it can do. Because this, I feel like this is just scratching the surface. This is just me messing around with it for the past like 30 minutes. But anyways, see you guys.